Hello, good day friends. Welcome to Blessed Excellence Center, Center of Excellence. We have first class students are groomed and academic work is simplified. Do well to subscribe to our channel at Blessed Excellence Center. Today we are looking at basis of reaction mechanism and your presenter is E.P. Christian. Introduction. Reaction mechanism starts with the process of bond cleavage generating positive charge and negative charge. A reaction system is composed of the reactant, the large components, and the reagent, being the smaller component, okay, each of which will cleave, forming positive charge and negative end that will exchange to form the product. Now, when you talk about reaction mechanism, you must get the fact that it has to do with bond cleavage. The bond of the reactant must first of all be broken generating positive charge and negative charge then they will now exchange their charges to form the product so that is how reaction mechanism occurs and that is the basic thing you need to know about that all right now reactant and reagents what is reactant reactant is just the substance on the left hand side of a reaction attacked by the reagent it is often larger and more complex than the reagent example is alkene reagent on the other hand is the smaller components of on the left hand side of a reaction it could be symmetrical or unsymmetrical a good example of it is chlorine gas it's chlorine gas okay all right now symmetrical and unsymmetrical reagents alkenes and reagents now symmetrical alkene has equal number of hydrogen attached to carbon bearing double bond example is ch2 double bond ch2 Unsymmetrical alkene has an equal number of hydrogen attached to carbon bearing double bond. Example is CH3, CH double bond, CH2. Symmetrical reagent is composed of same atoms. Example is CL2, B, RO2, I2, or those guys, guys fall in that category. Unsymmetrical reagent is composed of the same atom. Example HCl. HBRO, IHI, even water fall in that category. So we have symmetrical alkene and unsymmetrical alkene. For symmetrical alkene, the carbon bearing double bond have uh, equal number of hydrogen atom attached to it, while unsymmetrical alkene have an equal number of hydrogen attached to carbon bearing double bond then when a reagent is composed of the same atom such reagent is said to be symmetrical example chlorine molecule bromine molecule iodine molecule hydrogen gas all these guys are composed of the same components so they are symmetrical reagents then unsymmetrical reagent is a reagent that is composed of different components example hydrogen chloride composing of hydrogen and chlorine which are different atoms entirely another example is hydrogen bromide hydrogen iodide even water composing of hydrogen and oxygen so all these guys are uh, unsymmetrical reagents all right i told you that the basis of reaction mechanism is based on bond cleavage and exchange of charges let's use this equation to illustrate look at this reaction now this is hydrogenation of two butene a reaction involving the addition of hydrogen to a substance is called hydrogenation okay good now this is ch3 ch double bond ch and then ch3 because this carbon bearing double bond are having equal number of hydrogen attached to them this alkene is said to be symmetrical okay good now the basis of reaction mechanism involved the bond cleavage this arrow here is showing you how this bond is cleaved is broken and the bond cleavage is associated with transfer of the two bonding electrons from one atom to the other so this carbon here that is where the arrow is facing will accept the two electrons and become negatively charged while this other carbon that gives out the two electrons will be positively what charge so these two butene has generated its own positive and negative terminals okay good now come to hydrogen being the reagent you look at this here you break this bond this way this hydrogen will be negatively charged while this or uh, other one will be positively what charge now the arrow is showing the movement of electron take note in reaction mechanism arrow electron moves from the negative terminal to the positive terminal so this carbon is negatively charged so electron move the arrow with blue head it should the transfer of the electron from this guy from this carbon to this hydrogen so this 
a minus and this plus will come together to form this. We use different colors so that one will be able to understand what is happening there. Okay, good. So this is plus and this is minus. This is minus. So they will attach themselves to themselves to form this uh, component you are seeing here. And then this other one is negative and this one is positive. Positive, they will attach to themselves. When you attach that, you have this company. This is butane. This butane. So the double bond is removed. You see that the, this bond has been broken. So it is no more that the only bond there is only this one. And that is what we have in this way. So this is CH3. CH2. That is this I one hydrogen and this one hydrogen make a CH2. Then this is also CH2. This one hydrogen and this other hydrogen make a CH2. Then CH3. What is the formula for what? Butane. Thanks for watching. This is Production of Blessed Excellence Center. Bank. You can reach us on the number 070-4373-0069. Do wait to subscribe to our channel at Blessed Excellence Center.